Hey, people change all the time, right? I mean, as we grow up, we change a little bit every day. But sometimes something can happen that changes someone a lot all at once and in a totally unexpected way, which is exactly what happens in this exciting story. Super Z, written by Jack when he was in third grade at Washington Grove Elementary in Gaithersburg, Maryland. <laughs> Jack begins his story by writing, once in 1965, a zebra named Professor Z was walking around a baseball field. Ah, daily calisthenics. Flip those hooves, Professor. Suddenly, trip. Oh, my stripes. Ooh. Splash, kaboom. Jack even writes out the sound effects to help us imagine the scene. Splash, kaboom. Oh, pardon me, narrator, but did you just say kaboom? Yes. After the explosion, Jack writes, Professor Z transformed into Super Z. What's that? Super... <laughs> Super Z. The author writes that you've become a superhero. Oh, I think I need to sit down for a moment. Oh, oh, oh my stripes. Oh, my stripes. Oh, so I'm a superhero, you say, narrator? Yes. That's what Jack writes. But a superhero needs superpowers. I don't have any. Ah, did I do that? Yep. According to Jack, Super Z realized that he had laser powers and he had super strength. I do? Give it a try. All right. Here goes. You can do it, Super Z. <laughs> like a feather. Wow. I am Super Z. Oh, and I'm late for class. Ooh. Gotta trot. <laughs> Good morning, class. Hey, Professor. Hey, professor. Hi. Morning. Welcome to Braying 101. This will be a successful semester as long as you come to class, pay close attention, and hand in your assignments on time. Any questions? What if we don't? <laughs> you will. How do you know? Oh, because I'm Super Z. What? <laughs> How do you do that? Did you see that? This professor's not messing around. According to Jack, nothing could withstand Super Z. Not even sassy students. <laughs> Nobody, that is, except Lex Hydro. <laughs> According to Jack, Lex Hydro hated Super Z. And I do! That stuffy zebra professor already has super stylish stripes. How much more attention does he need? And how does he use his superpowers anyway? Lifting heavy stacks of books? Grading papers at warp speed? Please! Now, <laughs> if it were me... <laughs> Jack writes that Lex Hydro wanted Super Z's powers. And they will be mine! They will be! <laughs> Whose name is on that monitor? Lex! Lex! Not Super Z! No! <laughs> Jack writes, so one evening when midnight struck, he caught Super Z while Super Z was sleeping, and Lex Hydro carried Super Z to his evil laboratory. <laughs> Almost there. This zebra's so heavy. This guy really likes his stripes, doesn't he? According to Jack, his evil laboratory had lots of gadgets, including the Transmogrifier 9000, the Mind Reader 8000, and best of them all, a Copier 5000. <laughs> the Copier 5000 is the best of them all. I invented it myself. See that pig disguise? <laughs> Watch this. <laughs> <laughs> now I'm ahead of the game. But, writes Jack, Super Z woke up and used his lasers on the copier 5000. What's this? Uh, uh, no! They're my copier! 5000! As Jack writes, <laughs> it exploded so hard it blew up the whole laboratory. Yes, I can see that, narrator! Oh, copy of 5,000! You were 
were so much better than copier 4000. And now you're dust. Let this be a lesson to you, Lex Hydro. And I know how to teach a lesson, because after all, I am a professional professor. <laughs> Good day. <laughs> As Jack writes, Super Z turned back into Professor Z and got back home just in time for breakfast to begin. Ooh, mm. Nothing like a big bowl of hay to start the day, especially after an evening of saving the world. <laughs> Hmm. Time to document the evening's adventures. Let's see here. Ah. Ooh, where do I begin? Oh, yeah. But what happened to Lex Hydro? What do you think? Well, according to Jack, his name changed to Mr. Hydro, and he became a teacher. Will he ever change, writes Jack? Will he learn his lesson in the future? <laughs> Very good, Taylor. <laughs> Laura? Yes? Laura, let's get started on that math worksheet, shall we? Okay, Mr. Hydro. <laughs> okay, good. Let me know if you have any questions. I'm here to help. Okay. All right, good. I Thanks. have a question. Oh, be right there, Samuel. What do you think? Write a story about someone who unexpectedly becomes a hero. How does your character help others? <laughs>